Hello? Everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the shop. I know you think I've been loafing all day. Oh, there goes that dang here. No. Me and Wes was here working. Yesterday was cut up material day. Oh my goodness. I cut everything. You know, I cut glass, I cut peel ply, I cut everything. And it pretty much took all day. And it was a job too, man. I cut enough stuff to finish the project. And uh, I know I said my pastry bag days are done. <laughs> But I don't want to load that gun up for just this stuff. Still got to break out the old pastry bag, but I'll tell you what. That old sealer gun gets a big thumbs up from the shop. Now I know exactly how much resin to mix up. 300 grams. And that'll get both wings. Bam! But old Wes had uh, some stuff to do tonight, so he went on home and I'm going to finish this wing for sure and I'm out of dang tacky tape. All that stuff I bought at the dang resin store, <laughs> I forgot to buy tacky tape. How could you guys? Let me forget such thing. I got enough to do this one wing and I can't see loafing all night just because I ain't got enough for two wings. So. I ain't gonna loaf. No loafing for me, baby. I got them other ones under the blanket. So when I'm done laying this one up, I'll probably peel that paper and stuff. I'll get them trimmed is kind of what I'm hoping. And now if there's anything you guys don't quite understand, be sure and shout out while I'm on the wings and uh, I'll be do my best to show you, answer you, anything you want to don't quite understand. Because that is why I'm here, man. Now this, now this is, looks like chocolate because uh, this, I just changed uh, a micro balloons. Now when I went over to the light wings, I quit using baking soda. Okay, because that baking soda's heavy. Micro balloons is light, man. And anything I can do to knock a little bit of weight off these things to counteract them bombs and drop tanks we're fixing to hang off the bottom of these wings. That is why I'm, I'm wanting to get the weight down so we can put it in other places <laughs> and not have a terribly overweighted airplane. That is a boo. Oh man. I, I actually got a video and I, I want to load it. Oh, Wes lost his Sabu. Yeah. Lost, man. I mean, literally lost it. We can't even find it. We think it went in the river. So let's have a moment of silence for Wes's Sabu. Yeah. <laughs> It blows, man. What we think happened is 
He was kind of doing a little stunt flying. He was really doing pretty good. And I think he got it kind of far away, going directly away from us. And I think it lost signal for a minute. And the speed controller didn't rearm because it kind of did something real strange and kind of took off towards the ground and the motor died. And I think it lost signal for a minute myself because he was pretty far away. And uh, the speed controller didn't arm. He still had it on full throttle. And I told him when he was flying, I said, Wes, lower the throttle and raise it back up. And he did it and nothing happened. But Wes's radio and that speed controller was kind of funny. He had to run his trim down to get that speed controller to arm itself. And uh, so I think that's what happened. But you know where we fly at that dump, the river's just right over them trees. And uh, we thought he was this side of the river, and we went over there and looked and looked and looked, and no Habu had had to have went in the river and somewhere down south now. Probably hung up on a sandbar somewhere between here and Oklahoma. Close. So bad for Wes. We tried to get him a plane flying. He's got uh, something ordered, but it ain't going to be here for a week. And we tried to get him a little something flying. It's kind of embarrassing to show you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to show you though. I'm going to have to show you. we got to take a break for this in a minute. Okay. Yeah, we got a couple minutes left. Remember a long time ago, Monica sent me this thing to try out, and I couldn't get the fly worth the darn. Okay. <laughs> so, but the motor was too small, you know, it would hardly fly. So we carved it out, put that ducted fan on there, put a five-cell battery in it. And I tell you, I thought it would need... A little down trim because of that, you know, down thrust because of the flat bottom airfoil. This thing is about the most unstable. Air. It's, I'm surprised I have not crashed this airplane. It is the worst flying airplane I've ever flown in my life. And I don't know why. Maybe this is too flexible. But before it was so underpowered, it was terrible. Uh, ailerons didn't affect it. And it's pretty much the worst flying plane I've ever flown <laughs> without crashing. <laughs> so I told Monica too. So oh. it was a trainer, an aerobatic trainer, is what the box said. Oh my goodness. But anyway, we fired that up today and flew. That thing just does not fly good. It is a bad flying airplane. <laughs> we put that duck man in it I did open it up once. I cracked her open and it flipped upside down. <laughs> then, whoa, it was screaming though, man. <laughs> I don't know if it flipped upside down because of the torque of the motor. Or just because the airframe was about to fall apart. <laughs> I think it was the airframe deal because issue because I was going pretty fast when I opened it up. I was I was scooting. When I was going, we just threw that stuff in there. I didn't spend no money on it. I had all them servos and stuff. And thought we can get West the airplane to fly. That's all the only motor I had that would work fit on that. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the plan didn't, didn't work so good. So Wes is grounded. He's got a, he ordered this other thing, this uh, kind of a, an electric 3D foam plane from uh, Hobby King, I think, is what he's waiting on. <laughs> 